Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you a new and simple way how to make easy fire starters for maybe a backpacking trip or any uh, outdoor related activity. So first what you need is you need a cupcake pan, you need some sawdust, you need some paraffin wax, and some wick. So we need two paraffin waxes. Put the two paraffin waxes in here. So just for a little heads up, paraffin wax is very flammable, so I suggest doing this outside instead of inside, but if you end up do, Make sure to have, always have a fire extinguisher and maybe a fire blanket in it. Inside, I suggest using the double boil method like we have here. All that this does is you pretty much just get a uh, pot, you fill with water, and then you put your other pot with your paraffin wax inside of it. And all it does is it just kind of keeps the heat in and prevents it from turning into a gas. So let's fill these with stock sawdust. So now that once we're done, we're going to kind of press the measuring cup onto the sawdust and then we're going to grab some sort of padding just to kind of lessen the pain. And we're just going to press it in super hard. So you're going to do this for all of them. You want to push a lot of your body weight onto it. Now I'm going to grab a wick and I'm going to create the camera. So what you want to do is you kind of want to get about Place your thumb at the halfway point and you just want to wrap your wrap around the other half around your finger. Like that. So now we're gonna place it in all cups. Normally they don't have wicks, but we're gonna add it so it's gonna make it much easier for us to light the fire. Just to top it off, we're gonna grab some more sawdust and we're not going to compact it, we're just going to lightly layer it around it so it's covering the wick as this will make it easier to light and so the real part that makes it last longer burning is the bottom that is actually compacted. So you want to make sure that the melted wax isn't boiling or isn't too hot, you just want it in a kind of a liquid state like it is right here. And so, be very careful when you use this as it's very hot. So what you want to do is you just want to take it over here. Just so want to gently pour it on the edges. How you want to do this is you want to pour all around the edges first, and then slowly make it into the middle. And once you see it kind of puff open, then you know to stop. So if you want, you can kind of push the rest of the sawdust kind of into each pan to kind of make it look nice, but it doesn't really matter because it will all burn. To top it off, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of sawdust on each of them. Well, you just have to let this sit here and the paraffin will eventually soak into the sawdust. And you pro you probably just have to leave it here, uh, but it may take a while to kind of um, let the, um, the fire starter kind of harden up. Or you could put it in a freezer just to make it quicker. So we just let them sit in the freezer for about 15 minutes and so we're just going to kind of get rid of the excess sawdust just by kind of shaking it. Now they, they should be kind of fine just to kind of pull out just like that. The good thing about these is they're small and compact. They can pretty much take in a lot of places and they should last for about 20 to 30 minutes, just enough time to boil some water. This is about the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoy this quick and cool little uh, hack that you can use while backpacking. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios. I almost forgot. Make sure to check out the, our next video where we'll end up burning these and we'll even boil some water. It's all worth it.